how do you compare? I guess it'd be like going over that first hill of a roller coaster. So your wheels are only sitting two to three feet off of the corn. There's been plenty of times, you know, going under a wire that's a little bit too low that you get some corn in your brakes. It's intimidating. Van Lucas became a crop duster pilot in 2007 after years of flying F-16 fighter jets overseas for the Iowa National Guard. Crop dusters, yes, they are pilots. They're applicators first. We are paid to be good applicators. So the flying has to be second nature. But in states like Iowa, where giant wind farms produce over a quarter of the state's energy, the highest in the nation, even the most seasoned pilots can lose track of hazards crowding the skies. Each year, across the country, a handful of crop duster pilots die by flying smack into power lines, trees, and towers. Increasingly, small towers used by wind energy companies. So those big blades, you got 80-foot blades spinning 100 miles an hour. Those that have a hazard obviously within themselves, the, the biggest hazard to us is, is the MET towers. A MET tower is a meteorological tower used by an energy company to track wind in a particular zone and determine if it's a good site for a wind turbine. Five people, three ag pilots, have died in collision with MET towers since 2003. They're small. They can be put up in less than two hours. There's usually no warning that they're going to be put up. And when they put them up, they're 198 feet tall, two feet under FAA regulation for markings and lighting. They're usually galvanized metal, which if you've ever been up above the horizon and looked down at one of these things, you'd never see it. Uh, we're coming up on it. This one, it appears that it has paint on the top. This is a completely marked one. Brian Schertz is a flight instructor in central Illinois. Both his dad and his grandfather have been crop dusters, and he's debating whether or not to take on the family business. It's certainly concerning. You know, when I grew up around this, there was a lot of issues, but in the last 10 years, they've gotten so much more. All the wind towers, all the MET towers. In May, the National Transportation Safety Board identified unmarked towers as a critical hazard to ag pilots and urged the Federal Aviation Administration for the second year to require registration and clear marking of all MET towers for safety. To just give coordinates, we're going to put a MET tower here, dink, and that would be something that we could use. And we would probably check it every day, just like we check bees in organic farms. Some wind energy companies now mark their MET towers, and nearly a dozen states have passed laws to require better visibility. But a spokesman for the American Wind Energy Association told the New York Times that companies are reluctant to share the tower's locations for fear of giving away competitive information about future wind farm sites. The first time I saw one uh, was actually the field I was supposed to spray, and just something caught the corner of my eye. The sun was just right, and I saw the, the wire coming down the side of it. And, you know, you just go, the son of a... But at least I can see a giant wind turbine. You know, hiding one of those things in the middle of a, of a field is ridiculous. You know, especially when they can be put up so quick with two guys in a four-wheel. 